This is Mental, the podcast to destigmatize mental health. I'm Bobby Temps. I'm Danny Hogan. Each Thursday, we delve into a factor or condition that influences the mind and how to better manage it. With special guests and stats you can trust, here we go. This week, we're revisiting the topic of student mental health with repeat guest Jenny Pusey. Like myself, she had her most difficult time of mental illness when she was at university. We're also going to be talking all about our petition for mental health education. It's called Add Mental Health Education to the Mandatory Teaching Curriculum for All UK Schools. If you have already signed that, thank you so much. We are now, as of recording this, at 198,000 signatures. So super, super close to the 200,000, at which point we're going to hand in the petition. Again, just to reinforce the public demand for these changes. However, there has been some really brilliant progress so far. Mental health education is going to be rolled out in England and in Wales from September 2020. Also, Ofsted will be taking into account mental health support as part of their grading criteria for schools across England. There's still a lot more work to be done, and in the episode we'll talk a lot more about the progress that's still needed in Scotland and Northern Ireland, but these changes so far have been really phenomenal, and we've been lucky to be part of the consultations in both cases, so I can assure you I've been very involved with the legislation, with the reforms on a, at times, exhaustingly detailed level, so these changes really will make such a difference to young lives. Danielle, is there anything you wanted to say about why mental health education is important to you? Of course there is, Bobby. There's so (laughs) much that I want to say about it, but I'll keep it short. As I said on the video, I'm a mum of two girls and I just think it's beneficial in so many ways, not only for them just to learn for their own benefit, but so importantly for the benefit of others and their friends and, and the people that they grow with just to understand each other and what somebody might be going through. I just love the petition and (laughs) I just love what you've done with it and how hard you've worked. It's just amazing that you're doing that and how good is it to see that the change is already starting to happen. Brilliant. The importance applies to every child, that whilst not every child will experience mental illness through their school years and luckily at those young ages, stigma is something that's learned. And that is planted through the current ignoring of mental health in most curriculums. The physical health and nutrition are talked about more extensively than ever, certainly more extensively than when I was at school. And yet by ignoring mental illness that affects so many kids, and if not them, someone in their family or someone that's a friend of theirs, by ignoring that, it establishes a precedent that we don't talk about that. And that's where the stigma comes from. It's learned. You're not Mm. born as a baby having misinformed or discriminatory feelings towards those that experience mental illness. 